The other option is the auto locking technique. You create a bite, you still go through the large hole in the tool. This time though, you're going to go around the small hook. So you're going to take your loop around the small hook. At this point, you're ready to attach your carabiner. Now the carabiner is attached. At this point, I'm going to take the running end of the rope around behind the large hook, pulling it down into this uh, large hole in the tool. At this point, you're locked off. The more weight you put on it, the harder it locks you off. When you're ready to repel, you're going to grab this large hook and pull down. When you pull down, it releases that friction point on your rope. So if at any point in your descent you're ready to stop, if you let go of the tool, it locks you off. Firefighter now moves towards the window opening. Puts himself into position. Now he can operate hands free without having to tie knots in the rope. Now at this point, if he's ready to descend, he's gonna grab the large hook pulling down on the tool, which releases that friction point and allows him to slide down the rope. If he lets go at any point, it's going to lock him off. Again, this is emergency use only. Obviously, we don't recommend it for normal use, but if you find where your primary means of egress uh, has been blocked, compromised, perhaps you're up here by yourself, quick and easily, this was just a couple minutes, you're outside, you've, you've met an area of safety, you can now call for help or you can deploy yourself all the way down to the ground.